As the days draw colder and darker, we approach the challenging pressures on our health board that are associated with the winter months, such as seasonal flu and now the coronavirus. It is important that we do all that we can to keep our health and well-being as a top priority. This presentation aims to provide well-being tips that can be utilised within your teams or individually and to make you aware of some of the well-being resources and support that are available for staff within our health board. Hello everyone, I'm delighted to uh, be here today to announce the uh, winter um, package associated with health and well-being. I'm Mark Hackett, I'm the Chief Executive of Swansea Bay Health Board and a warm welcome to you on this crucial topic. Um, today we, uh, we, we're providing to you um, a whole range of uh, interventions that you can access um, via the health board and through external organisations to support uh, your, your psychological, uh, emotional and social welfare uh, and health and wellbeing. Um, what I want to acknowledge is the hard work that you've all put in in the past uh, associated with the pandemic, which has been traumatic for a number of you uh, and has resulted in considerable challenges that many people would not normally face at work uh, in the intensity and uh, emotional distress that some of that may cause you. And I want to empathise with that and uh, 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 thank you for uh, the dedication and hard work that you have put forward. We are in a situation uh, where we, what is emerging are a range of things in the pandemic that will help us going forward, such as uh, the massive expansion of test and trace, as well as vaccines, which offer uh, protection to both yourselves and the population uh, in the medium term. But this uh, vaccine programme is a long haul and we have much to do. So in the meantime, it is in, important that you remain vig vigilant around the precautions that we are all uh, uh, required to adopt, such as wearing masks, making sure we appropriately uh, are distance from each other and ensuring that our hands are washed and we clean uh, surfaces. In terms of um, uh, the uh, way forward, I think what I'd like to emphasise is Health and well-being really starts with you as an individual and I would encourage people while they're at work to take a break, uh, to ensure that you eat and hydrate, that you have a chance if you can to do some exercise and get into the fresh air um, and also that you have an ability yourself to have some peace and restfulness uh, where it's possible uh, at work during your break times. Clearly also, um, what, the, what we are also keen to do is to ensure that you have a range of uh, options available to support you when you're at home, uh, because we do, uh, like it or not, we do tend to take the stresses and strains of work back home, uh, and it's important that you can be, you can be able to access uh, support at any time of the day or night. And this is what our wellbeing package actually offers. So, uh, on the, today you'll see a whole range of information that you can access um, that is practical and is centred around your own self-care but also your ability to access other support. What I wanted to raise was uh, two things. One, um, around the need to look after yourself clearly but also the need to support others around you and to spend some time just seeing how people are, checking out with them, um, and also in the wider team for you to uh, regularly check whether uh, there are things you can do as a team to support each other or on an individual basis with colleagues um, to support them. So um, what, where we, what I'd like to uh, finish with is just to say uh, thank you for everything you've done and thank you for everything that you're doing. Um, and by accessing this package, we help in a small, we hope in a small way that we're able to help you uh, and your families um, with the psychological and social and uh, wellbeing support that you need um, to really keep you uh, safe, well and happy at work. Thank you. It is important to pay attention to our wellbeing and practice self-care regularly. To do this, it may help to consider some of the following questions. How do I take care of myself? 
How does my team take care of each other? Am I ready to help? How can I stay physically and emotionally healthy? How can I support colleagues and they support me? How can I take time to rest, recover and reflect? If you have time before heading to the next slide, it could be beneficial to think about these questions yourself or discuss them within your team to take stock of how you and those around you are feeling. This slide contains helpful resources to help encourage wellbeing conversations and where help can be accessed. Click view on the icons to open the resources and take some time to go through the PDFs and videos provided. Hi, my name is Matt Tidball and I'm a physio by profession working within the Occupational Health and Staff Wellbeing Services. And I'm going to take you through some of the services and resources we have available to you within the Health Board to help look after and maintain your physical health, looking after your muscle and joints in particular. Firstly, the Staff Health and Wellbeing Service. You can self-refer to this service by contacting 01639 684 568 and you can speak to a physio for confidential advice in relation to a muscle or joint problem. Secondly, the Occupational Health Service. You can access support by either a management or self-referral. Importantly, this is not a treatment service. However, we can provide you and your manager with fitness for work advice and provide advice and recommendations to help you remain in work or to help you return to work following a period of sickness absence. Thirdly, doing our bit. The Health Board has signed up to Doing Our Bit, which is an online fitness platform with over 40 unique videos provided to the NHS by Britain's leading personal trainers. You can sign up and access this service using your NHS number and your NHS email. Please visit wwwfit the number four, thefight.org forward slash NHS dash members dash area for further details. Perhaps most importantly, it's really important that we look after our own physical health and well from well-being from a health promotion perspective. And what we try to advocate is regular exercise. Please try to aim to get approximately 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per day. Additionally, try and make sure you regularly change your posture position, you vary your workload and you move frequently during the working day as well to help maintain your physical and musculoskeletal health. Finally, if you need any advice or support, then please contact the available support services. We're here to help. Thanks for listening. There are five steps that you can take to improve your mental health and well-being. Firstly, to connect. Maintaining healthy relationships with the people that you trust is important for your well-being. Think about how you can stay in touch with friends and family in creative ways during these difficult times, as physical isolation doesn't have to be social isolation. Secondly, be active. Regular physical activity is recognised to have several positive impacts on the body, including lowering levels of stress and anxiety, releasing endorphins and strengthening your immune system, just to mention a couple. Being active can be achieved in any way that is enjoyable for you or in activities as simple as choosing to take the stairs rather than the lift or leaving your desk to go for a walk at lunchtime. Thirdly, take notice of yourself. It may not always seem it, but now is the perfect time to reflect on the people and things in our lives that give us meaning and purpose. Appreciate your body and the things it lets you do. Take notice of how your colleagues are feeling and perhaps why this might be the case. Fourthly, keep learning. Think about what you enjoy doing in your spare time and share it with others, whether it's your favourite book, a specific hiking trail, new recipe ideas. Inspire others and encourage your colleagues to do the same to find out new things about them. And finally, to give. Active giving and kindness can improve our mental well-being as well as the mental well-being of others. Ensure you say thank you when someone does something for you and ask those around you how they are, how their weekend was, and truly be curious and listen to the answer. These five ways to well-being can be achieved by making small changes that have a big impact. If you have the time, this is a good opportunity to reflect within your teams or on your own about how you currently engage with these five well-being areas.
There is a nutrition and dietetics page on the internet containing a wealth of information and resources, including recipes, fact sheets and so much more. And for all staff wearing PPE for prolonged periods, please see the relevant information on the importance of staying hydrated. Welcome to this short presentation put together by the Nutrition and Dietetics Department, which will give you some key messages to help you eat well and stay hydrated. Eat well, feel well, live well. Eating and drinking as well as we can is an important way to take care of our body and mind. Routine. Try and have three balanced meals spread evenly throughout the day. This will help us get all the nutrients we need and help maintain energy levels throughout the day. Fruit and vegetables. These contain a range of nutrients important for good physical and mental health. Tinned, dried, juiced, but only one small glass a day. Fresh and frozen, they all count towards our five a day. Include as part of meals and snacks. And balance. Include some fruit and vegetables, whole grain or high fibre starchy foods, and some good sources of protein like beans, lentils, lean meat, fish or nuts. And don't forget low fat, low sugar dairy foods. These will provide a good balance and supply of nutrients that we need. Snack swaps. For some people, stress and worry can lead to increasing snacking. Making snack swaps to healthy options is a positive way to improve our nutrition and take care of ourselves. Try these nutritious options. Unsalted nuts, multigrain toast, a piece of fruit, some chopped vegetables, oat cakes, or maybe whole grain cereal. Vitamin D. Vitamin D helps to keep our bones, teeth and muscles healthy. Our bodies make vitamin D from direct sunlight on our skin when outdoors. We can absorb small amounts from some foods. However, we can't get all the vitamin D we need from our diet. And during the winter months, the sun isn't strong enough. Taking a daily 10 microgram supplement from October to March is recommended. This year is even more important to take a supplement as you may have been indoors more. Limit alcohol. Having a drink might seem like a good idea to switch off, but alcohol can affect our physical and mental health. It also contains lots of calories, so it can affect our weight. To keep health risks from alcohol to a low level, Men and women should not drink more than 14 units a week, spread evenly over three or more days, with several alcohol-free days per week. Keeping hydrated. Staying hydrated is important to maintain good health. It can help concentration, reduce fatigue and headaches. It can reduce the risk of kidney stones and urinary tract infections. Eating a well-balanced diet and regular meals will help you keep hydrated as part of our fluid comes from food. Fruit and vegetables have a high water content. Another good reason to aim for at least five portions a day. Here are some top tips. Have regular healthy drinks throughout the day. Water is the best choice. Aim for six to eight glasses per day. More if the weather is hot and working in hot conditions and when you are physically active. Sip drinks frequently through the day. Don't wait until you get thirsty. Some people find caffeine disrupts their sleep, so include some caffeine-free drinks every day. Now, keeping hydrated is particularly important at present for staff when wearing PPE to prevent heat stress. Why not view this hydration poster for healthcare workers wearing PPE for more information? Maybe you could print it off and put it up in your workplace. For more information on nutrition and hydration, why not visit the Nutrition and Dietetic Department Intranet page or the Staff Health and Wellbeing section via this link. 
Here you will find reliable information and links to resources like fact sheets and posters, recipes and apps. If you wish to view the hydration poster for healthcare workers wearing PPE, they are available both in Welsh and in English. We will also be posting monthly bulletins on this site to support staff with healthy eating and weight management. Or why not follow us on Twitter? Twitter.com forward slash SBUHB Dietetics. If you've had any trouble accessing any of these links, there will be a PowerPoint slide at the end of this presentation where you can click on the links. Thank you very much for listening. Diochom Grandos. Our Health Board is running hour-long training sessions for staff who manage or supervise colleagues who are exposed to potentially traumatic events. Staff attending will learn what constitutes a traumatic event and will be provided with an information pack to enable them to signpost individuals for further appropriate support. If you'd like to book a place, please email Laura Keegan or for more information, please contact Calm Prince, whose details are on the screen now. Within Swansea Bay, we have a network of staff, health and wellbeing champions, whose main purpose is to increase colleague awareness of the wellbeing services and promote wellbeing in work, as well as to signpost and give appropriate information to colleagues so that they can seek the support that they need. You can email spu.wellbeingchampions at wales.nhs.uk to find your nearest wellbeing champion or ask locally within your teams. Swansea Bay will be delivering virtual wellbeing workshops for staff across the health board called hashtag resilient care in the Swansea Bay way. This award winning course has been set up in addition to the robust wellbeing service because it was recognised that there is a need for extra support here in these difficult times. These workshops will be provided twice a month for approximately 40 participants per session, regardless of their role within the organisation. To book a place, keep an eye on the intranet for further information. Face COVID is a set of practical steps for responding to the coronavirus crisis that use the principles of acceptance and commitment therapy. Take a moment to read through these steps and consider their application. For further information, view the video or presentation by clicking the interactive buttons on the right hand side. In addition to some of the resources previously mentioned, the staff health and wellbeing team provide confidential help and advice with muscle and joint problems, as well as mild to moderate mental health problems. You can self-refer using the details referred to on this screen, which can also be found on the internet page. The staff health and wellbeing team aim to support you to offload any issues you're currently facing and direct you to resources that support your wellbeing. They are also available to support staff during the challenges they have faced or are facing during the coronavirus pandemic. You can contact the team Monday to Friday from 9am till 5pm using the contact details on the screen. The Swansea Bay Chaplaincy team are offering informal drop-in sessions across all hospital sites. Staff are invited to talk about any concerns they may have and independent support can be provided. You do not need to be religious to utilise the service, but if you are, there are a number of chaplains of different faiths that can be requested to support you. Locations and contact details are available on screen and can also be found on the Employee Wellbeing Intranet page under Pastoral Care. There are a number of trade union colleagues that are available to support you. Contact details can be found on the staff side intranet page, which can be accessed by clicking on the icon on the right hand side of the screen. Please take the time to listen to this short clip, which discusses the taking care, giving care mini rounds available to staff. Practicing mindfulness is a great way to focus your thoughts. If you'd like to participate, this slide takes you through a guided mindfulness minute at your workstation. Begin by bringing your attention into your body. Feeling the weight of your body, your feet on the floor. Pushing down through your feet, connecting yourself with the floor. 
in the present moment. Now focus on your breath. Take a few deep breaths. Feel any tension in your body. Take a moment to loosen the tension, to relax. Let your shoulders be soft. Take one more breath. Be aware of your whole body as best you can. Bring your attention back to your workstation. Our Health Board actively encourages feedback. If for any reason you feel you can't raise concerns through local channels, the Guardian Service is an additional independent service which is available 24 hours a day and seven days a week. Malcolm Stammers is our current Guardian and can be contacted using the details on screen. More information can be found regarding the Guardian Service on the Staff Experience page on the intranet. Several wellbeing apps are available to NHS staff for free. Headspace is a meditation app which teaches you how to live mindfully. The Sleepio app provides a six-week programme which focuses on cognitive and behavioural techniques to improve your wellbeing. Daylight is an app in which experts guide you through your feelings of worry and anxiety and provides tools for you to confront challenging emotions to make way for more positive feelings. The Health Board resources covered in this presentation are summarised here. Please utilise these wherever needed and be able to signpost colleagues where appropriate, as they are here to help. In addition to our internal wellbeing resources, there are also a number of national resources that you can use. The Samaritans have launched a free and confidential support line for NHS and social care workers in Wales. Volunteers are there to support you when you've had a tough day, are feeling worried or overwhelmed, or if you have a lot on your mind and need to talk. Silver Cloud is a web-based cognitive behavioural therapy programme filled with a number of helpful resources that can support during this challenging period. This service is being offered to all NHS staff for free until June 2021. Help for Health Professionals Wales is a free confidential counselling service now available to all staff working in the NHS. To access any of these services, please use the contact details on the screen. By way of direction, many of the resources discussed in this resilience package can be reached via the Staff Wellbeing COVID-19 support page on the internet, which can be accessed quickly using the links in the left sidebar. Please remember during times like these that you are not alone. Thank you.